Greetings, your scam. My name is Krusty, and welcome back to Gold Rush. So something crazy is kind of happening. I've just loaded up the game, and my gold count is just going kind of nuts. It's just going up really, really fast. I'm not sure why it's going up like that, but I'll tell you something. I'll, t I'll, t I'll tell you that I like it. I'm gonna go in my tent and see if I can hire any more workers. I can't. There's like, there's no new applications. It's still this guy, and he's working on the small excavator, which I haven't shifted him over to the bigger one yet. And I'm I'm a bit like wary of doing it in case it messes anything up. I don't I don't really want him to stop working like that. Seeing that he's getting kind of a roll going now, he's getting he's getting. I'm gonna shift him. I'm gonna shift him more gold. There you go, buddy. Work on that big excavator there. You get more done, maybe. Don't know if anything's changed, but that's good anyway. That's good anyway. All I've done so far since the last episode, I played this game for about um. An hour, half an hour to an hour the other day in my own time, just trying to like grind a little bit. And I filled up four buckets of potential gold. That's all I've done. And then I haven't touched anything else since. And I come back to this. What is going on? I just do not understand it. But not one to look a gift horse in the mouth. We're going to continue on with the explanation of what we're going to be doing in this episode anyway. I want in this episode to get more money. It's going well so far. And I want to get more stuff. Mainly like the big, the, like the big front end loader stuff, so I can drive around and like, you know, that's the sound it, that it makes. If I get a front end loader, I can dump stuff into there. It should be should be a lot better than that big excavator over there. Also, something you guys told me is that I don't actually have to just dump my small excavator in a hole, which is what I did. I don't just have to abandon my stuff when I get upgrades. I can actually sell them, which I didn't know I can sell. There's like a little place near the beginning of the bit where I can sell everything. Also, I'm going to go to sleep now because it's very dark and I have a hard time seeing, so you must be so blind. I feel rejuvenated and excited about everything, in case you can't tell. I've got a lot of... Look, what the hell is going on? I went to sleep with like 39, like, Gs, and now I've got 57? <laughs> what the hell is going on? Maybe there's an update. And the workers actually, uh, they, 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 they do better work now. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe there's an update. I don't know. Either way, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to try and drive out of this hole that I dug myself into and I'm going to try and sell the thing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. I could just move myself into a much better situation and then I can get myself out. There, there you go. Use physics. Claw myself out of the hole I got myself into. There, there you go. There you go. There you go. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I think I'm doing it. I'm not doing it. That was a lie. That was like, I, I led myself to believe I had progression, but I did not. I'm tipping over even more. I'm tipping over even more. Why do I, why do I still, <laughs> if I can't get it out, I'm, I'm putting it further in the hole if I cannot get it out. You know what? Screw this. Screw this. I'm going to, oh no, I'm trapped now. Oh, I'm trapped under the excavator, but it's my own doing. Hey, never mind. Look, there's, there's, look, there's a little button that I discovered a while ago. I could just teleport into vehicles and stuff. <laughs> so now while I'm here, I'm going to empty these buckets into all this stuff. I'm going to get extra, extra G's and then I'm going to drive to town and I'm going to make a buttload of money. Get you in there, bucket. Get me some stuff that I so desire and so need and so want. Desperately, I want it and I need it. There's one bucket of gold in there like that. There you go. That's how this is. This is how it's done. You see, this is how it's done. Follow my leads and you shall never be lost in the gold acquiring mining industry. You shall never be lost if you just follow my lead. I almost stacked a bucket. Let's stack the buckets. There you go, I can't stack the bucket. More gold in there, please. Thank you very much. There's two more buckets to go. This is going super, super silky smooth right now. Oh my God. I, my voice did a thing. Look how much gold we have. What is going on? They've like, they've increased it. There's been an update which has changed it and my dreams are reality. 300, almost 400 G's of the G's. What is up with this? I don't get it, but I respect the decision to give me much more value. Last bucket, make it a good one. Look at it, we're almost at 500 now. Dude, we're gonna be able to get like everything. We can get new land. Why don't we buy new land? We could get new land. What's, this land smells. Why do I want this land anymore? I've dug, I've dug up like the best bit about it. Shake, 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 shake the money into my pockets. Turn all this stuff off. Don't need it anymore. Turn it off. Shut up. Stop making noise. You're too loud. You're blocking the sweet sound of success through my ears. It's going along the wind like a song from a golden bird. 
I'm really happy. I'm genuinely very, very happy. Like, I've never been this happy in my life. That's not true. I have been happy. It was just... I mean, if, if this was real gold, I think I would be happier. Although, I, don't, I wouldn't really know how to sell it. But then I haven't really looked into selling gold in my life. Although there's always those TV adverts and stuff saying, Cash for gold! Cash for gold! Like, your gold is worth something. Of course it is. We've known gold has been worth something for a very long time. Gold has been a valued commodity for a very long time. Why are you just now telling me that my gold that I own is worth money? Do you think I'm stupid? Don't take me for a fool, world. Do not take me for a fool. I'm gonna get gold, 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 I'm gonna get gold. Let's sell all our beautiful all there like that. 714.1 grams of gold. And this is, and it is all condensed into this wonderful, one little golden bar. Let you sit down there and sit there like you cute. Have you ever seen a more beautiful golden bar in all of your days? <gasps> There's a Christmas tree! Look at that! Oh, I mean, I'm, I'm recording this on like after Christmas now, but like that is, oh, isn't that a wonderful thing that I'm so late to witnessing? Okay, moment of truth time. Let's go up into the bank and then let's see how much our gold is worth. Let's see the stock in gold right now, actually. Um, it's... whatever. It's fine. Let's, um... this. Oh! That's, um... Not as much as I hoped it would be. I was so excited, it's just that, like, the, the, the constant, like, burst of, like, numbers going up like that. Like, was it like that? It used to be like that. I don't know. I haven't played this game in a couple of weeks. I don't... I mean, I forget things if it's been more than, like, a day. So, cannot help but feel as though I've been misled. Some rot, like I thought I would have so much money, but I don't have that much money. Doesn't seem to really add up. Is it an update which has just messed with my mind and my mind solely? And it's a sinister attack on me personally? Or, or is the game just messed up a little bit? I don't know. I just don't know. I know this is new. I saw this on the updates kind of thing, like, uh, there's a crane now, we can get a crane, which is kind of cool. Don't know how much the crane is, let's go see how much the crane is. Wow. That's a lot of money that I don't possess. I really wanted to get the front end loader, but I'm not going to be able to get the front end loader with this, mu this, this much money, am I? No, no, it's gone up. I swear it's gone up in price. What about the big excavator? Wasn't that like 78 or something like that? Or 86? I feel like everything's, like, I feel like the world is out to get me now. Another thing you guys told me, by the way, if I go into the main menu, not not main menu, the settings menu, the game one, there's actually an option to toggle everything costs one dollar, which I toyed with doing because I got sick of the grind and everything. But then I started this episode and I thought I'm definitely not doing that because look at all the money I got coming in. Now I've sold all that gold that I had, like 700, like grams or whatever the bloody hell I had of it, which is a lot of the grams. We've never had that many G's before, I don't think. And then I and then I now I'm thinking maybe I can just just uh just a little bit no 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 not yet not yet not yet not yet not yet I'm not gonna do it yet not gonna do it yet we're gonna we're we're, we're fine with how things are going like I'm still getting lots of gold at the moment the goal of this video now is to get the front end loader I've decided I want to get the front end loader like I've been. I've been eyeing it for a while, like all the little pieces for the like the step three and the little notepad, which was helping me. Um, and then it just feels like it's mocking me at some point, like it does now. But I'm gonna get the front end loader, right? That's the, that's my goal. 182 dollars. Wow. I'm rich. Can hardly believe it. Gods of the golden skies, give me the fortune needed to procure such a wonderful beast of a machine. One dollar for a front end loader, you say? Wow, what good fortune. They must have been having a sale. Must be very generous around these festive times to offer me the very thing I desired for just one measly little dollar. Thank you so much, owner of this scrapyard junkyard place with large parts of heavy machinery which you sell for not so much of a profit. What the hell is that? Drilling machine. Oh yeah, that's new as well. The drilling machine is new. Could, um, I could get, could get that, but I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get that as well. Oh. This machine is available only in season two. Go to the hotel and use it to advance to season two. There are seasons in this game? I didn't know this game came in seasons. Things have changed. Okay, 
But does it mean season, season as in we're in a TV show or season as in like season like it's going to snow soon? What does it mean? I don't know. What does anything mean? What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to get a gas tank because I think we need to get a that gas fuel tank. That's only $6,800. We can get that. We can get one of those things. Let's get one of those things. Yippee, yippee. Yo, yippee, yippee, yay. So I need to attach this to the back of my truck. Then we need to go down to the gas station and refuel our truck as well because our, our truck is like less than like, uh, le you know, less than half health right now. So our truck need either fuel these, but also our fuel tank, which is probably going to cost a lot of money. But that's all right. There you go. Perfect. Like that. There you go. Let's, 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 let's get this journey underway, everyone. What a journey it's been. We 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 met like the 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 the, the Christmas people. Did you ever dream such? A <gasps> stop! 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 There are cows up there. How long have they been in there? Why have I never seen? I mean, I've heard them. For, are they? Are they? Are they, are they, are they suddenly entered this physical realm? Because I've heard them since the beginning of the game, but I haven't actually seen them before. Hello. <laughs> Moo! Moo! That one's looking at me. That one's shaking its head like it, this idiot trying to be a cow. <laughs> if I could be a cow, I'd be a cow. Cows are great, man. I like cows. And the road has been cleared! What is this magic? Man, this was like a huge update that I just did not see coming. <laughs> this, 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 I mean, that the road's closed there now, but let's go this way instead, I guess. Maybe this leads to another parcel of land. Maybe I could only actually get one parcel of the land up until now. I don't know. I obviously didn't have the money to actually uh, check that out, but I'm very curious to see where this new area goes. There's a house. And just... Ah, oh, okay, um... Okay. This is the hotel. Okay, well, let's get out and investigate the hotel, and hopefully no one chops uh, a door with an axe, and then we start screaming and stuff. There's a reference to The Shining. Would you like to start Season 2? Season 2 brings season-only machines you can buy and use. Drilling Machine and D-Rocker. You will start with a fresh new game without old bugs that may happen to a bunch of players. All your money and gold will be removed. Same happens to the claims and workers. Everything is going to be set to default. But I've worked so hard, though. I worked hard, and now you just want to erase everything? I've just got the fuel tank. Just got the front-end loader. This episode feels very chaotic, like there's no like real flow to anything. I have an idea, that doesn't work out, I get another idea, that doesn't really work out, I get an idea, that doesn't work out, but that one might work out, wait, no it doesn't, everything's changed. So everything I do now is completely pointless, because I have to start a new season to start again, so why not, I guess, just, fine, start a new season, let's start again completely, I suppose, screw everything, throw everything away, because nothing means anything, nothing means anything. Tell you what I'm going to do, you want me to erase all my stuff, I'm going to put everything cost one dollar and then I'm going to get back to kind of where I was, you know, I'm not just going to just erase all my stuff, all my bloody hard work and like, expect me to bloody pay for everything again and work that hard again, such a grind fest this game is. Expect me to get everything again from the ground up. Do you know, why would I do that? Am I a masochist? No, I don't believe so. I might be, but not right now, I'm not. It's that devious ghost of Christmas something, isn't it? With his stupid tree with glowing balls on it. That's who that is. Stupid bastard of a ghost. So I've started season two now. The game has just been completely wiped and started again as I expected. However, I did not know once I did that, the recording would actually just kind of freeze. Fortunately, by the time I realized it, I hadn't actually done a whole lot. Basically what I'm doing now is I'm just purchasing all the stuff I had before. So I purchased a new land, like the most expensive one, Instead of like the old parcel I was on because it costs one dollar now because <laughs> I'm not gonna I do what I want when I want to do it. I don't really have the time to sink into this game that it requires to get everything like naturally and stuff. As much as I would like to do that, I don't. But I figured I'm not I'm never gonna be able to get like the biggest, fanciest bit of like parcel of land, so let's just buy it all like cheat cheatsy and stuff. I don't know where my new place is either, by the way. There you go, Nighthawk Parcel. Okay, so I gotta drive a lot further away. I gotta go past the hotel and drive up. Wow, okay, I picked the one which. I picked the one which is furthest away. <laughs> That's not gonna make things easier on me. Never mind. So I'm actually gonna have to make multiple trips in order to actually take everything there because I don't have enough space. 
I could buy a trailer to help me out, but I also need to get stuff again, like mobile wash plants and the fuel tank, which I got last time. But now I, like, I just acquired it, and now the game is telling me that I need to acquire it once more. But it's exciting, though, because it's all new, sparkly new and fantastic it is, isn't it? I don't really know where I'm going. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Something's happening, which is wrong. Oh, God, something's happening. It's okay. Sort itself out. Sort itself out. Don't panic. You panicked. Why did you panic? There's no need to panic. Okay, so we're at the hotel. If I check on the map where exactly I have to go, uh, we're right there. So we go along here, and we turn right, and we keep following the road. We go past the sawmill, go left. And we just go that way. Okay, that's that. That's fine. That's fine. I can, uh, I can work it out pretty easily. Man, I'm I am the master of directions. Is that the road I need to take? Is that the is that the, this is it must be the road. That road is closed. Okay. <laughs> okay. Almost got lost at the first little turn in there. But to be fair to me, it is like a oh, there's a bridge. Those of you out there who like bridges, boy, you must be in heaven right now. That's, I mean, that's one hell of a bridge. It's made out of wood and everything. So here we are, Nighthawk Parcel. Great, we're here. Awesome. And there's like a giant rock in the bloody way. Who? Why did we not move the rock out of the way? Jesus, I mean, there's always, it's always, like, there's always something. There's always something. This is a cool looking big area, man. Look at the size of this place. I mean, obviously it's going to be big. It's like the biggest... I believe it's probably the biggest bit in the game. It's the most expensive bit anyway, so obviously it's a bit I went for. <laughs> Here we are. Here's our little tent of stuff. So this is like our, our main base of operations, I guess. There's our tent in there. There's our gold tent, as it says on that sign. Let's, uh, let's take our uh, wassy, wassy McCauley be jiggy jiggy. Let's take our thing and put it somewhere we actually want to work. I don't believe I can... I can uh, I can dig up this gold here. I gotta go in into these 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 dirty dirts. So I'm gonna empty all my wires and everything, and then I'm gonna go back into town and buy everything else that I need to buy. This could take a while, but don't worry. I'm gonna skip ahead and save you all the boring bits that we've actually already done. I myself am going to suffer through the boring bits so that you do not have to. Yeah. Yeah. Got on the magnetite separator. God damn it. Never mind. I don't need it now. I'm just going to set up and make sure it all works. Just not going to worry about that. Not going to worry about. <laughs> not going to worry about that. So now I get the joyful job of actually setting it all up again, which I can't wait to do. See if I can remember how to bloody do it. It's not that difficult. Shouldn't really forget how to do it, because again, it's not that difficult. I don't feel as though I've done this right. Is there meant to be the big red cables go over if, across them? I cannot remember. <laughs> Pretty sure it is, because I put the, yeah, I put like the little, little water filtering there. Okay, god damn it. Okay, I've done it wrong. God damn it, I'm so dumb. God damn it, I'm so dumb. How did I forget this so easily? God damn it, I'm so dumb. Is that in the water enough to get the water? Probably not. There you go. There you go. It makes it. I don't have to go back to town. I got enough red cable. Red cable is longer than the green cables. Now, the major point of this episode, again, was to use the front end loader. And I've got a front end loader delivered here. Should be around here somewhere. I'm going to jump for lots of joy when I see it. There it is. That was joy. That was a little joy. That's, that's all the joy I could master. I, I'm almost all out of joy. Hello? Why is everything so noisy and loud? Well, let's get in the excavator then. Let's, let's, let's go do this bloody thing. Let's work out how to bloody work it. I'm guessing it works not unlike the, um... Oh, it beeps. It beeps when you go back. I'm guessing it works not unlike the excavator and controls and everything. I ship between the, the digging and the driving mode, which, which makes all the sense in the world. So I'm driving now. This is what driving looks like. Oh no, you operate everything all together. Okay, this, this is like a whole new world of what the hell am I doing? <laughs> it's like a whole new world of that. Seem to be a little bit stuck, but that's, there we go. It's working. It's working, there you go, it's working. I got like, oh my God, I'm digging such a hole. Okay, okay calm down, bud. Calm down, buddy. Get yourself, get yourself some out of this hole. Let's tip this into here like that. There you go. Is that doing anything at all? That's not really 
I prefer the excavator, to be honest with you. Yeah, get all that dirt. Get all that dirt. Look at this trail I'm making. Yeah, I'm just... I'm, oh, God, I'm scooping it up like a real gentleman would scoop stuff, you know? It's not that bad, actually. That gave me about 60% in one of them, so that's not too bad. That's... That's probably... That, that's better than what I was getting with the excavator, like, just... Like, the, the large excavator is actually doing really well, so that's not... That's not too bad. I'm happy with that. I don't want to do any more work, though. That's just like a quick little visual demonstration, you know what I mean? Like, a, a little, little quick one. Little quick one. Don't want don't, to... Don't, don't, I've already spent so much time. Oh, boy. So much time has been spent in the world of Gold Rush on this day. To be honest, I'm a little bit sick of it. So we got ourselves a front end loader, we got ourselves a whole spanking, like, massive area of new land. I'm gonna get workers and everything again eventually as well. I'm gonna get trailers, I'm gonna, we're gonna try out the drill, we're gonna try a bunch of stuff. But for right now though, I'm gonna listen a bit more to my, my machinery talking to me. And it, it's speaking. Some, maybe it's Satan. Satan talks through all sorts of things. So does, you know, everyone does. Like, you know, Jesus comes back on, like, toast and stuff. Like, did anyone ever think Jesus would come back on toast? No, but he does it. What? What's the message there? Jesus, why are you on that toast? I don't know, says Jesus. I felt butter. I could have, if given enough time, I could have come up with a better joke than that. But there was no time. So thank you very much for watching. Now I'm going to end this video here. If you liked it and you want to see more Gold Rush, then as ever, I do appreciate you leaving a like and a comment down below letting me know. Because it really helps me out as well. Really super duper helps me out. Super duper, gee golly whiz, it does it help me out. And I shall see each and every one of you in the next video. So, so long, farewell, and goodbye.